Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Dyson. I am back with yet another banger of a video and today we're going to be talking about a fight recommended by a fan. We got the Red Hulk himself going up against the Abomination, the one and only. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the Red Hulk was once General Ross, the general who was obsessed with taking the Hulk down. And he has a never-ending eternal rivalry with the Hulk after being humiliated by him. Just like the Hulk, there's not exactly a concrete answer to how strong the Red Hulk is. But Red Hulk consistently does things like toss vehicles around. Of course, throw blows with the Hulk and other super-powered beings similar to the Hulk. He can crack the ground open with his fists. He can easily lift multiple tanks, even entire airplanes. Not to mention the fact that he keeps his persona as General Ross and his human intellect while in the brute Hulk form. Now even though Red Hulk can effortlessly lift over a hundred tons, he uses weapons from time to time as he was trained in the military as a human being. And his foe for today is definitely a worthy one, the Abomination. So yeah. The Abomination, in specific the movie version, is a very powerful, very strong, aggressive powerhouse of a character. He was able to throw blows with the Hulk, beat him down, wear him out, even make him bleed, something even Thanos didn't do. Only two villains have ever made Hulk bleed in the MCU, as you can see here. The Abomination has bone spikes protruding from his back and different areas of his body with protective, very durable skin. As his hide. The Abomination is a reptilian monster. He was once a Milblonsky, a human being, who was actually working for General Ross himself. He was given a super soldier serum, something similar to that of Captain America's, to where he was more agile, faster, bulkier, stronger, more durable things like that. He also possessed the healing factor before inevitably he became power hungry and the power went to his head. He ended up taking on the Hulk and when he was defeated he used the Hulk's DNA to power himself up at which point he mutated and became the abomination as you see here. Being able to easily lift around 100, 150 tons, even more, the Abomination is one of the most powerful villains in the MCU. Being able to easily toss around powerhouses, but the Red Hulk is definitely a worthy opponent. So let's get into the fight. Red Hulk and the Abomination lock eyes from a distance, staring each other down in the middle of a city. Red Hulk picks up a large truck and wails it directly at the Abomination, causing it to explode on impact, blowing him up. He walks through the flames unfazed, tears a chunk of the ground up out of the earth, and throws it over his head, smashing it into Red Hulk as Red Hulk punches through it and charges at Abomination. They both leap into the air and clash, making a shockwave of energy. The Abomination kicks Red Hulk midair with one leg, causing him to fly back to the Earth's surface. Red Hulk gets up, bursts into flames all over his body, and throws a punch that explodes on Abomination's face. He then knees Abomination in the stomach and suplexes him onto the ground as Abomination begins wailing on him, punching him in the face over and over and over before he grips him in a headlock, slams him into the ground, gets up and begins stomping him over and over before kicking him almost a mile away through a skyscraper. Red Hulk leaps into the air hundreds of feet up and slams down with his flaming fist swinging over his head as he lands an explosive punch on Abomination's face, blowing him up, causing the radioactive flame to make him fly back hundreds of feet. He then charges back over to the Red Hulk and lands a massive uppercut directly to his chin, causing him to fly up in the air as he then leaps up and grabs Red Hulk by his ankle and throws him into the ground, making a huge, huge, massive crater. Red Hulk immediately pops back up, and as Abomination runs up to him and swings, the Red Hulk blocks his punch, twists his arm, and begins 
socking him in the stomach and chest over and over before punching him in the face. Abomination then breaks Red Hulk's nose, punching his face in over and over. Red Hulk suplexes the Abomination to the ground as he then kicks Red Hulk multiple feet back as he flies through the air. They then charge one final time as the Abomination grips Red Hulk up by his throat, lifting him up with one hand over his head and slamming him into the ground, making a big crater as he then stomps down on his throat and begins suffocating him before body slamming him, impaling him with his bone spikes all running down his spine, all through his chest and stomach. He gets up and stomps Red Hulk's face in and then steps on his throat, flexing his leg muscles, pushing his weight, and fours down, suffocating the Red Hulk. The Abomination leans in and grips up Red Hulk's throat and begins strangling him savagely with one hand before he grips his throat with both hands and squeezes. He then dents in Red Hulk's skull, socking him so hard. Winner, The Abomination. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Dyson, and I am Audi.